here, ladies. I don't want to say the M word too much on my page because I don't want to put that negativity into the atmosphere. But do y'all ever realize that when women start to consent to something, men kind of lose interest in it? Perfect example. Men like having sex with women. Men sexualize women. Men like women who are sexual. But as soon as a woman is like, okay, I can get into this. I like having sex too. It's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You're a whore. You don't have a dad. And I hope I never have a daughter. Or my personal favorite. Women are like, I'm an alpha male. I want a woman who will cook, clean, and do what I say. And as an alpha, my only duty is to provide. <laughs> and when women are like, okay, I can get into this. I'll take that role. And in return, I want a man who can provide money and financial security. Suddenly it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Y'all are gold diggers. And that city girl shit is why I can't support feminism. As if they were ever going to support feminism. And it's almost as if men don't really have a set morality. They really just want to abide by whatever women don't consent to. I believe all women have the birthright to be gold diggers. I think it's laughable that men almost villainize women who want men with money and security when women weren't allowed to have bank accounts until the 1960s. A law enforced by men and women couldn't open bank accounts without a male co-signer until 1974. Not to mention, it wasn't the norm for black women to have their own bank accounts until well into the 70s. Women were forced into domestic household duties as a part of an early American industrialized structure by men, forced to rely on men by men. Just to turn around, it get called gold diggers for wanting men with money and security. And the men who are up in arms about women wanting men with money are not in the streets protesting wage gaps. Now, personally, I have my own money, but I believe all women have the right to be gold diggers until the wage gap is closed.